Why did you pick her to tell us about Benghazi? What does she have to do with Benghazi? Did anybody ask her for additional security? She's the United Nations ambassador. D did she know that in August 15th there was a memo coming out of Benghazi saying we can't defend this place if we're attacked by al-Qaeda? And by the way, there are 10 groups here. Did she know the place was bombed in June? Did the American president, Barack Obama, know that we'd been attacked twice? So how could she say five days later, definitively, there is no evidence of a coordinated al-Qaeda attack when there's a ream of evidence? And when it comes to Condoleezza Rice, we're not the only country that thought he was trying to get weapons of mass destruction. This is about the role she played around four dead Americans when it seems to be that the story coming out of the administration, and she's the point person, is so disconnected to reality, I don't trust her. And the reason I don't trust her is because I think she knew better, and if she didn't know better, she shouldn't be the voice of America. Somebody has got to start paying a price around this place. Uh, and back to the Bush administration. When we went to Iraq, we came back and say, there are more than a few dead enders here. You know, what they're telling you, the Bush administration, about the level of security in Iraq doesn't match what we see. And I voted against General Casey because I didn't think he deserved to be promoted after the way he did his job in Iraq. I don't think she deserves to be promoted. There are a lot of qualified people in this country the president could pick, but I am dead set on making sure we don't promote anybody that was an essential player in the Benghazi debacle.